Tyler Murphy was riding high. The immediate aftermath of the Apple Valley Sun Devils 20-12 Battle for the Bell triumph over Victor Valley. The 44th annual rivalry game between the area's longest standing crosstown adversaries. It was Murphy's 69-yard run that put the Sun Devils ahead to stay eight minutes into the opening stanza. Murphy feasts on Rabbit. He carried for 297 yards last year in Apple Valley's 51-6 regaining of the bell. The 5'9", 170-pound senior, 217 yards on 17 carries this night. Oh, there you know, my line did everything. Everybody blocked super great. There's huge holes all night. I just got to give it up to my line. Some might say Apple Valley's defense was bend but not break. But, in fact, the Jackrabbits hampered their own cause with frequent penalties, dropped passes, and key turnovers. The blocked field goal attempt and run back by Jacob Munoz moves the ball deep into Jackrabbit territory and led to an Apple Valley second quarter field goal. Late in the first half, Lane Thomas with the interception in the red zone. Up on recovery also. Yes, sir. Same thing. It was a very intense game. Got to get in when the chance is good. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Victor Valley moved the ball often seemingly at will. Sophomore Josh Woods from nine yards out, capping an 80-yard drive on the Rabbits' opening possession. A botched extra point attempt, not a premeditated try for two, left it at six to nothing. Fourth quarter, with the Sun Devils leading 13-6, Jackrabbits quarterback Eric Turner scores from two yards out on this fourth down play to open the final stanza. The Rabbits go for two and the lead, but are denied. Apple Valley, its own fourth and goal, three yards out. Justin Connors off the play action fake, Brian Fuentes in the end zone. The Jackrabbits march down the field, driving deep into Sun Devils territory before holding penalties move them back near midfield. Tyler Bernal's sack halts the drive. The Sun Devils hold on for the 20-12 victory, Apple Valley's 29th in the 44-game series.